Hello my babies, welcome back to another video. In this video today, we got a little push workout at the one, the only, Zoo Culture. If you're new here, I'm Mom Swole. I make videos about fitness, mental health, and a bunch of other fun shit. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby. Join the Swole Squad. Y'all know what time it is. Pre-workout time, baby. Code Mama Swole for a discount on Transparent Live Supplement. Link in the description. Oops. Just spilled that in the pre-workout. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I think it's time for a pre-workout dance segment. Let's do it. <laughs> I just spilled that everywhere. <laughs> I didn't have the lid on. Bruh. All right, that's okay, that's okay. Keep it moving, keep it moving, people. We didn't lose that much, right? There's still eight ounces. Yeah, there's still eight ounces. We're good. <laughs> the thing is on this time. Yeah, I'm like low-key paranoid I'm gonna spill it again. We're good. <laughs> First thing we're going to start with is the grandfather of all chest exercises, the bench press. And just a disclaimer, I did warm up before this, so don't you worry your little noggins. I just didn't film it. If you guys have watched me for a while, you know I've talked about this before. A lot of times when I bench, I get shoulder pain in my right shoulder. It makes it very difficult to push a lot of weights on the bench, therefore my bench press is very weak. But I still try my best and I make it work. Now, I know this is a bit controversial, but I do try to arch my back when I bench. I used to be one of those people that thought that that was very risky and would put you at a greater risk for injury, but I've done my research, folks, and according to everything I've read, benching with an arch in your back is a lot safer for your shoulders because you're using your upper back muscles to help stabilize your shoulder blades, and therefore, they're in a much more stable position, and it's less of a range of motion, so you can also push more weight, but you know, that's just a little extra extra bonus to it. I mostly do it for the sake of my shoulders and if you don't agree with me i highly encourage you to do your research and here is me trying to find the perfect pump up song to listen to before i hit my set i don't know about y'all but recently i've been listening to a lot of rhythm comment below what y'all like to listen to while you lift i'm kind of curious and if you have any good suggestions for me to add to my playlist let me know for mama swole there's nothing more beautiful in this world than getting a filthy pump to some filthy dubstep Let's go, baby. Next up, we have a little super set of some tricep pushdowns with some dumbbell shoulder press. I'm not gonna lie, when I was watching these videos back at the gym, I was like, my form is shit. What am I doing? Do I even lift? I don't know. I just feel like I could have had a little bit more control and it looks like I was using a lot of momentum. So I went ahead and lowered the weights. That's what you do, folks. If your form is shit, make sure you lower the weight. Form over everything. Form over mother everything. I could make a wrap. I think that's one of the benefits to filming yourself is you can recognize what you need to fix, what you need to adjust, and all that good shit. That booty though. Do I have anything else to say about this? Nope, I really don't. It's filthy pump time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, we got another little superset. I've mentioned this before in my other videos, but I really like to do a lot of supersets in almost all of my workouts because it's very time efficient. You get a nice juicy pump and I just like them, man. They're just like my thing. They're my mama's wool signature. Here we have a superset of some face pulls. Everybody alert Athlean X real quick with some bent over rear delt flies. And here's your friendly reminder to hit rear delts next time you train. I feel like a lot of people do not train this muscle as often as they should, but but it's very important, so do not neglect it. And you better listen to me. I'm your mother. Here we go now. And for our last superset of the day, we have a neutral grip chest press superset with a spend press. And I really like both of these exercises because they put minimal stress on my shoulders and they just feel really good, man. Here we go, let's get it. Hey, didn't see you there. Y'all mind if I be transparent real quick? I was sitting outside just now doing some meditation and deep breathing because I feel very stressed. I know that these workout videos are obviously physical health, but I think at the end of them, I'm gonna do like a little mental health segments. This morning when I woke up, I had really bad anxiety. Like as soon as my foot hit the floor, my mind just started going off. I was like, homie, it's too early for this. Like, I'm not even awake enough to have this much anxiety right now. That honestly happens to me all the time. Like, the earlier I wake up, the worse it is. I'm probably not the only one, right? Someone out there, please tell me I'm not the only one. Make me feel less alone. I've just recognized it, and I was like, I will not let you stop me from going to the gym today. Because low-key, I didn't really want to go because it was so bad, but I pushed through it, and I think that's just what you have to do sometimes when you're feeling that way. If you avoid what you're anxious about, it'll just train your brain to avoid it more. So every time I'm scared of something, I run towards it. That way I can train my brain to just go for it and not be afraid. I didn't have the best workout because of how anxious I felt. I think that's the moral of the story, kids. It's just like, it's okay to not always have an amazing workout. Even Mama Swole has bad workouts. Even me. And I'm perfect. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But for real, like, it's okay to have bad days, bad workouts. It's okay to just feel bad sometimes. So I just wanted to share that. We can't be too hard on ourselves, man. We can't be too hard on ourselves when we're feeling off. Like it's normal, we're all human. So that is the more of the story, kids. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to join the Swole Squad. Comment below the word peace. If you would like to support my Patreon for just $2 a month, the link is in the description. Shout out to all my patrons. And if you would like to get some Swole Squad merch, the link is also in the description. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good ass day. And the Swole comment of the day is this comment right here. For a chance to be featured in the next Swole comment of the day, make sure you leave a comment below. Oh,